Hello guys and welcome to episode 22 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we're continuing after finding peace with France finally, um, which was actually a really good thing because now we have buffer states between ourselves and Prussia because otherwise we would have been an, in an eternal war with them most likely. So that's good, now we can focus our attention on Spain for the time being and hopefully clean out the region of Spain. Uh, we'll take Portugal back and uh, we'll take Gibraltar as well. So that's what we're going to be looking to do. So first of all, that's going to start off with moving back uh, Benedict Thorne here. We also probably want John Churchill to join us at Paris, so we'll do Any that. Public order is still going to be okay here, but what I'm going to do is just drop a, another infantry in there just in case. We'll put those 19 men in there. We'll have all of these join us in Paris. Okay. Um, as for these men, I think what I'm going to do, um, like all of the militia, we might um, sort of merge them. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We'll merge those chaps and then we'll merge the rest of them as well. There we go. And then we'll disband that one. We're looking at 4,965 per turn at the moment. One thing I do want to do before I sort out the rest of my army there is uh, fix up this navy that we have in Portsmouth. There we go. So that will be good because then we'll have all of the Indiamans that can be sort of escorted down past the Spanish coast. At least that's the idea. That's why I built so many fourth rates just so that we could deal with the galleons we'll be coming up against. We can also get this uh, fifth rate to come over now as well, since we're no longer needing to blockade the French Navy. We take, we've taken away their last port in uh, Europe as well, so that's good. But anyway, um, let's see where we want to spend this cash. It might be worth just fixing up Brussels here, get that Royal Palace fixed up. And that's going to leave us with 2,336. Is that all of my navy done? Yeah, it is. All right, let's now focus on this instead. So I'm going to replenish those chaps since they're quite high unit rank. And we'll try and fix up those ones as well since they're quite high unit rank. And we'll fix up those ones. There we go. That's going to leave us with 159. Let's have a look at what else we have to do in this turn. So... At Konigsberg, we're under siege by Kurland. Uh, Poland, Lithuania is nearby as well. Um, in Paris, we've already moved all our forces. Oh, we do have our army on this navy, but that was going to go and attack the French, wasn't it? I'm not sure if I need to kill these pirates just yet. I think I might just leave them. Unless they're blockading my trade. I don't think they are. Yeah, we could go and take out some pirates now or something. Let's take out this ship. We'll fight it on the battlement. Yeah, we'll take on the pirate ship and then I'll probably try and capture it maybe. If we can't, then what I'll do is just carry on anyway. <laughs> and we'll try and land our troops on one of the pirate islands. But it really depends where they have their forces because... They seem to have a lot of those like pirate raiders before and I don't think we have enough men to really take them on. So yeah, let's just go in a straight line here. We'll just uh, carry on past him and I'll just have all of my ships volley as usual um, into this race built galleon which is actually really cool. Let's uh, have a look at it. We haven't seen a race built galleon in a battle yet I don't think. Well, it looks very cool actually. It has uh, 28 guns. So 16 aside. Actually, not 16. <laughs> My maths is so bad. Um, that'd be like 14 aside. Alright, let's slow things down. And we will. Start showing our broadside towards the galleon as it gets close. 
and I'll have all of my ships just fo follow me. And follow one after the other. There we go. You'd think more would hit if they fired one after the other like that. We did take out two guns though, so that's a good start. we keep it in our sights at all times. We'll just try and circle it. I have to lower the sail a little on this ship so it doesn't overtake my flagship. lacking guns now. Surely we're going to end up sinking it. I see routes. Yeah, okay, he's routed. I will try and board him while he's routing. Let's continue. Have these guys just carry on. Have all these set to chain shot. Have we got it? Yeah, we have. Okay, cool. So we're going to be have captured that galleon, which is fantastic. Not quite sure if it was a close victory, but sure, whatever. Oh, that's interesting. Why does it say it's killed? He definitely boarded him. Oh well. Let's head down towards Antigua here. That's got uh, a bunch of pirates on it. We'll see what the garrison's like. It does actually seem pretty large. Also, they have walls and we don't have any siege equipment. Um, I'm assuming the army will still be pretty large at Santo Domingo. Let's try the... Island further down, Trinidad and Tobago. See if we can jump on land there. I can also go check out the Caracas then. And um, we can maybe invade there as well. So I think possibly it will be time now to recruit myself. Not even only the 12 pounder foot artillery, but also some more colonial line infantry here so that we can A, take down castle walls, but also B, have enough men to do so and make through those breaches, basically. So good start, good start. Um, let's have a look at our agents. We have our rake here. He needs to carry on towards the Hurun dot. This chap should probably head back to Cayuga since we accidentally moved him away last time. We've still got our agent in here, so that's good. And let's have a look elsewhere. Pretty sure that's everything moved now that needs to be moved. Time to carry on to the next turn, I think. We don't really have to be concerned about what France is getting up to, which is nice. We can take a chill pill. What would be nice is to secure more trade on the Ivory Coast. I feel like we're going to have a massive battle though with Spain on the water at some point. In the meantime, however, they're going for Paris again. 
It's going to be Lion Infantry, Irish Brigade. They've also got uh, Walloon Guards. Ooh, they're, they're elite infantry. That's not very nice. We're going to fight this on the battle map. I think Spain's pretty beat up, right? The last Spanish attack revealed that we still have broken walls. So we're going to have to work around that. Here we are. So it is raining, which is a bit odd. Plenty of gaps here to worry about, though. Do we have spikes? We do not. Why do we not have spikes? That's odd. We don't have any fortifications. Normally we would. Very odd indeed. Okay, let's just grab all of my infantry and take them off the walls. Cannons inside as well. We do have canister shot now, so we could probably use the cannons to hold certain breaches. There's only one here. Deploy maybe like so. They got line of sight. Yeah, I think they're good have them come over just a little bit more because they're all going to be firing into this breach onto canister there we go and then I'll probably do the same here we'll have them relatively far back I might actually have them further over or we'll stick like a small unit on their right yeah let's do that like so that will do and then we'll have these guys tuck over just a bit more good and i'm gonna have a brigade like so then we want one to fill the gap here nice that will have to do and if they engage me in melee here my front line should hold and then we can just shoot canister shot into their side assuming they don't just charge my cannons but I guess to stop that we do have a few full strength militia squads so I might have one sort of just sit behind the cannons here and turn off their fire at will we we'll probably do the same on the other side although I'll probably just have one go into the building just have them start in the building may as well uh, what other troops do we have left here have these line infantry line up like so they can shoot at units coming in from that direction and I'll have these guys take up the building these ones can sit next to these cannons yeah we've got a couple units of militia um, let's have one of them sit behind just to bolster any melee and we'll have one actually line up here since it looks like there's another breach that I completely forgot about. Should be okay. I can always have these chaps sort of fill up the ranks there. It's fine. And of course my general can just hang out in the mid. Is that everything? I don't have any file or calm citizenry which is weird. I don't know what's quite quite is going on, but I'll do. We'll end the deployment. There they all are. That's fine. Their deployment is good for us. Make sure those are on canister. Speed things up. And wait for them to attack. They do have some cannons. But uh, I'm not sure what exactly they're going to do with them. They could break down this wall, maybe. Create another breach. That could be awkward for my cannons. I might turn these off fire at will as well, so that we can get the perfect volleys. It's going to be all about timing. When they start squeezing their way through, we'll put canister shot straight into their face. Oh, they are going to actually go for the grapples. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, never mind. They are coming through. Alright, time to fire away, I think. Nice. Okay, we'll have those guys freely reload. That's good. And quite a lot of damage there. We're going to get another shot off. We're going to have to make sure we focus ones like coming through. Otherwise we might accidentally hit our own dudes. Fine into the back of that melee, that was just grim. Oh, we've let them get into that building. Whoops. But oh, we're hitting the Walloon guards though, that's fine by me. Oh wow. Who needs elite infantry? And you can just kill theirs with canister shot. Oh, and look at all these guys run away. Which is perfect. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. That is <laughs> some disgusting volleys. Those Walloons also getting ripped to shreds. How am I 33rd doing? They're actually really good in melee, the 33rd. I just got such perfect shots into the back of those guys. Just getting massacred as they run away. So good. Part the uh, regiment of force here. Oh nice, we killed the general. Right, let's stop this firing. Oh, and there goes the Irish Brigade. I can't believe we actually missed them, that was... Oh, that anticlimactic. There's actually still Irish Brigade coming out of the building here, which is why all of my cannons turned to fire at the building itself. Alright. Well, hopefully they recover and actually come back, because that would be better. Because we want to kill as many as we can, we just don't have the forces ready to chase them down. I stop these guys firing into that building. Why are they firing still? Stop it. <laughs> I don't know why they just felt like they had to keep firing volleys then, but there we go. What do we do now? That's the question. I could move out. What are we up against? Uh, just one unit of cannons there. Regiment of Horse, um, there's another unit of cannons there. I'm pretty sure that's all they have left. We've absolutely decimated them. Okay, um, so it's just a matter of militia, maybe. A little bit worried about those horsemen, though. Maybe we rely on our line infantry. That would be a better idea, I feel. Uh, we can just have a few units of live infantry move over to that right side. And maybe just have like one of these units go into melee mode, uh, spread out, and uh, run down that set of cannons over there.
Right, so we're just going to have to micro this lot, I think. We'll just have to keep putting them on square formations when we get close to the cav. Have them run. No point in being slow when you're charging down cannons. Just a tad worried about these horsemen. They could rip through my lines. Might be worth bringing up a couple of these militia to back us up. Though, I'm not sure they'll get there in time. I was just going to mellow mode. Plug them down. Spread out our rifles like so. How are the militia doing? They are doing okay, that's good. Head back over here. I'm gonna slowly move my dudes forwards. So that if the cavalry does charge, we might have a chance to get a volley. I suppose they're not using canister. Guess that's fine by me. I uh, probably don't want them to shoot at the cannons there, that's a bad idea. What we can do is shoot at any cav that come towards us. I'm going to put these guys in square formation immediately. These guys are going to run over, take shots. Okay, we've dealt with cannons here quite nicely. And they routed, so we win. <laughs> Decisive victory. It would be nice if I could click continue and maybe kill a few more of them, but only 107 losses in all of that. During the amount killed, that is pretty nice, but uh, Spain there going to consolidate that army, probably come back towards Paris once again. Oh, we now have another battle on our hands. Right, well, defending against Prussia, not Prussia, Kurland and Poland and Lithuania. Do they have any guns? They do have some horse artillery, only one set. And they're coming in as reinforcements. So they're going to take their sweet time to get where they need to be. Alright, let's fight this on the battle map. It'd be a pretty, pretty simple defense as long as the cannons don't get involved. Because they're going to have to use grapples. And we can then defend the walls quite easily. Just got to make sure that line infantry are the ones that are intercepting those that came up or come up the grapples uh, whilst the militia and the uh, firelock arm citizenry just sort of deal with shooting down and manning the cannons okay so we can't get these guys onto the walls so let's just set up maybe a couple of spikes like so just in case the walls do get broken down by cannons but yeah like I said they're coming in as reinforcements so I have no idea which direction they're coming from and um, we're going to get the rest of my units just control there we go to all come off the walls and we'll put them all on so we need probably one set of line infantry in each corner and then we can move them to wherever we need to to intercept grapples and then meanwhile the militia can sort of take up each centre area. Ok, 
Okay, that'll have to do. And the deployment. Good to go. There's only one unit ahead of us. The rest are coming in as reinforcements from multiple directions. So we're going to have to just be very vigilant when they finally decide to grapple the walls. Looks like they're going to take their sweet time though, so we're just going to chill for now. What are these guys doing? That's better. So this is the initial force. Like mostly they're going to attack us from this side. There is some over on the other side though. What sort of stuff are we looking at? Oh, this is the artillery. Okay. So we could find a breach over here. We could always bring over a pike wall formation. I might bring the pikes over here in advance. Those guys are getting close. Might have to be careful that it, those cannons don't start targeting the edge of the fort there while I'm manning it. Alright, there we go. We're starting to chew them up. What I like to see. I'm going to keep it sped up until they decide where they want to climb just keep destroying them in the meantime yeah so they're targeting the corner here gotta be a little bit careful about that I'll just get them off the corner if they're gonna do that all right looks like they're gonna come for grapples time to switch these guys over The idea being that only line infantry intercepts line infantry on the climb. Maybe those six pounders are focusing on the line infantry because they change target to that wall is odd. Here's some of Curlin's line infantry. What they decided not to climb, that's fine. We'll just shoot them and they're going to shoot back. Fine by me. I might even bring over another unit. Yes, sir. Right away. Right away. Right away. I hope they get into positions. So far, so good. It's going to be a lot of switching around from side to side in this battle I think and this battle could take its sweet time so apologies for that in advance but we are severely outnumbered and I'm gonna have to take it slow to make sure I'm watching every grapple location because it's weird they, they always seem to run up place grapples and then run away and then later on some random unit will come up and climb those grapples Finally, landing those walls properly, that's nice. Oh wow, we've made it That's good. That must have been in this force. If they're going to stand there and take the shots, then it's fine by me. And they're going to climb here, I think. You best cover that. I don't want to move these guys. I probably want to have these guys move. Oh, actually, they're going to have to stay there. We're going to have to use the militia. Okay. Well, we're killing off the cav. That's something. Oh, 
Alright, now they're climbing. Wait, where, where did I just select face? Right, that's fine. Okay, they are climbing here as well. Hopefully we can take down those line infantry though. Uh, we are going to have to be careful here, I think. This is awkward. Okay. Yeah, if they're going to be grappling there, rather frustrating. Will these guys move across? Matter of like making sure I have these places covered. Okay, we're not doing too bad anyway. They're definitely trying to climb up a lot, aren't they? I really wanted to make it so that only line infantry was in intercepting line infantry on the top of these walls, but it seems like that is no longer going to be the case. To be fair, it seems like my units are doing a decent job nonetheless. So that's good. Need to have those guys get into position for the curling troops. Meanwhile, these militia are going to have to do the job. Right over on this side. They're not routing yet. They're not really surviving that well either. Yes, Into that melee. Come on chaps. Pushing back over the walls. Okay. Same deal here actually. Why well, they're not actually taking up the wall? Those militia are taking a lot of damage. These ones are as well. Hopefully, these guys opened up with their guns. Over there we got them pinned down. Alright, there go those chaps, that's good. Well she did well. Now these ones are going to come round to here. We no longer need them on that side, unless these guys are going to try to choose to climb. Oh, they just pike when they can't get on the walls anyway. Here, just militia, isn't it? Engaging in melee, we probably should get these line infantry to join in. That is a lot of troops. Oh, they're locked in melee combat now. Oh, I see. May as well just get them into the melee then. It's fine. But these guys, where are they going? Well, how about on this side? I think I might get these guys to start coming back around the wall. Over here, both units of Poland Lithuania are routing. Uh, Kirlin's taking its sweet time to rout. I mean, my militia have really stood up well. He's 
line infantry need to come across, I think. They are starting to climb here. Okay, well, so far, so good. This firelock arm is really firing into these chaps. They are as well. I'm gonna have them come to the corner here, shoot down onto those cav. Both of those are routed anyway, so we'll bring these guys over here. It's fine. Those guys may as well take up the wall. Good old firelock arm citizenry, actually doing relatively well. It's just a massacre when they try and climb the walls like this. I think they almost outnumber us two to one. It's not going to matter when they're climbing up grapples. The only issue I do have is I'm going to have to send troops out again, aren't I? To kill the six pounder at the end. Hopefully these guys actually fire, that would be nice. Okay, well they've routed. And now we need to take up the walls again. bad. And we just need to shoot these guys to death on their horses. Fortunately sitting just in range. These guys into that melee. Even though my line infantry has actually been doing really well. slowly but surely forcing these horsemen back get these pikemen out I'll have some of them go run down that artillery now these ones can just come out the front and deal with the cav I think they're all like running around to intercept the pikemen maybe. Not really sure. Ah oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, 
artillery or that um, cavalry shouldn't last too long. Definitely move those guys over here and shoot down onto those horses. Get another unit over here as well. the pikemen come out. I'm not really too concerned about the fact that they have taken some damage because we never really use them in defensive battles anyway and this is a breach and we haven't got a breach this time around. Pretty good battle though. End it there. Heroic victory. Certainly was. Six hundred and thirteen lost. Two thousand four hundred and thirty-five killed. That is pretty legit. Königsberg holds out once again. I don't think we're set for anything else in the end turn. Pirate fleet might come out of nowhere, but other than that, I don't think there's any nations that really pose a threat. and coming back with another army already. I'd really love it if they let me, you know, dismantle that workshop. Oh, hello. Hello, Galleons. How are you doing today? We're just going to leave you be. That city is actually very undefended, that Spanish city. Technological advance measuring tools. Nice. Blackbeard finally killed. <laughs> it's funny actually, I was just saying how um, in the last episode how that massive pirate fleet is probably owned by Blackbeard. <laughs> the vicious pirate Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, has finally been defeated and killed in the battle with the Royal Navy. Even though he had been pardoned under the recent Art of Grace, Blackbeard was still targeted as a dangerous freebooter by the governor of Virginia who commissioned two sloops under the command of Lieutenant Maynard to track him down. Eventually finding Blackbeard's ship in a North Carolina inlet, Maynard attacked Teach's ship Adventure, giving chase as it attempted to cut anchor and escape. Managing to fire on Adventure's rigging and forcing it ashore, Maynard ordered his crew below so that Blackbeard would board his sloop. As predicted, he took the bait and boarded with ten men, unprepared for the attack of Maynard's men. During the fighting, Blackbeard was cornered and eventually killed by blood loss from multiple sword blows and gunshot wounds. His head was later hacked off and hung from the bow of the sloop. Well, wow. Air building was constructed in the Iroquois territory, so that's nice. Got 5,900 for this turn, but that unfortunately has been my time. So we're going to look at uh, what we want to do with that cash in the next episode. But we're likely going to be moving on to take on the pirates, maybe with the Spanish if a bit more. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>